Hi, this is Mato. In this video, I will show the game Vin Sandstrom and the Holm. This game was played in Sweden in 1912. White started with e4, e5, knight to f3, attacking the pawn on e5, but black didn't defend the pawn. He played knight to f6, attacking the pawn on e4. This is known as the Russian defense or Petrov's defense. Knight takes on e5, d6, knight to f3, and black captured the pawn on a4. Material is equal. Knight to c3, knight takes knight, and white captured with d pawn. Bishop to e7, bishop to d3, aiming at the pawn on h7. Black castled kingside, castling kingside looks like a logical move for white. Instead, white played h4. What is the purpose of this move? Well, that is to support the knight jump to g5. Rook to e8, lining the rook with the white king. Bishop to e3, knight to c6. And this is very important part of the game. It is white to move. How should white continue? Should white play something like queen to d2 and the castle queenside? Or maybe there is another move, like Greek gift, sacrificing the bishop on h7. What do you think? It is white to move. Should white take the pawn or not? Now, the question is, would you sacrifice the bishop on h7 for the attack? In the game, white did. Bishop takes on h7 check. King takes bishop. Knight to g5 check. And black played king to g6. How would you continue? Would you play king to g8 or king to g6? Black played king to g6, and that is the wrong decision. Most of the time, king to g6 is good, but in this particular case, king to g8 was a better move. Let's see what would happen then. Then queen to h5, threatening a check and checkmate. Bishop takes knight. Pawn takes bishop. King to f8 check, king to e7, queen takes on g7, bishop to e6, castling queenside, king to d7, and black king would escape, and perhaps black would have a chance to win the game. But in our game, we have king to g6, h5. King to f6, check, bishop to f5, g4, threat is queen takes bishop, checkmate. Queen to c8, defending the bishop, check, king to e5, check, king to d5, there must be a checkmate now. Can you see a checkmate? Well, I think c4 would lead to checkmate. In the game, white castle at queenside. Check. King to c4. And there is checkmate in one. Can you see checkmate in one? That is knight takes pawn on d6. Checkmate. That was a very interesting game, wasn't it? So we go back to this critical position and actually bishop sacrifice was not correct this time but it worked hmm that was interesting wasn't it and that is all i hope that you enjoyed watching this video i wish you good luck with your chess and bye for now